Another must-have skill for you utilizing Dotloop is how to add additional contracts or addendums. There's a lot of forms that are already in Dotloop, but you might need to add them. Each loop template that we've created for you is about 90% of what you'll need for each transaction. And as we know, every single house, every single file, every single transaction is unique. So sometimes you need additional forms and there's a lot of realtor forms out there. So if you need something over and above our template, so you would hit add document, you could browse if you had a copy of that form on your computer, but you will have to add all the text boxes, signature boxes, everything, or you can hit template. Now, if you hit template, there's several different folders of forms that are available to you to add to your file. So the first one, for example, is 2023 for residential forms. Now, this is a lot of forms, dozens and dozens. So the easiest thing is to hit the search bar and find what you need. Let's say, for example, this is a VA buyer. So they will need a VA FHA loan addendum. So you could type in VA and now you see VA FHA loan addendum form. You just click the checkbox and you hit copy. And now that form is going to be loaded into your loop right here. Or you can hit template and maybe you need a subsurface sewage disclosure because there's a septic tank. So you click that and let's say actually I need a Zach Taylor specific form. Uh, they want to do a bill of sale. They want to buy some furniture between the seller and buyer. We have that form. We also have a company nine form. So let's go back here. Maybe I also need a lead-based paint disclosure. Here we go. I'll hit copy. And now all four of those forms have been auto-populated into my loop. Now I can click the file, individual line items, click and hold, and you can drag and rearrange these if you want something in a different order, that's perfectly fine, but at a bare minimum, you still need the required line items down here.